Hi, I want to show you how to handle good and bad data analysis requests. Now, we don't need to worry about the tools that we're going to use at this moment. What I want to show you how to deal with requests that are not ideal and ideal when you're a data analyst. An ideal question is going to give you a clear path to analysis. This will be business questions that you're going to answer through the data. A poor question is going to be a very general question asking for, you know, you to analyze data with no direction. So let's take a look at this flow chart and see how we would handle each one of those questions. So if someone asks, can you use this data to answer our business questions? This is a sign of a mature organization or group that understands that data is there to answer questions and serve as a resource to answer those questions. Usually they will add context and give you where this data lives and how to access this data. But most importantly, they're going to provide you with business questions. For example, they may come to you and say, we want to know what the most frequently bought together products are so we can optimize our cart to increase cart size when customers are adding items to the cart. This is a very direct question that you can do by analyzing the data. Of course there are steps. You need to source the data. You need to prepare the data. And then you can answer those questions. However, on the flip side of that, as a data analyst, you may get other requests. And this may also show that it might be someone that doesn't have a firm grasp on how to use data. And they may ask you for a poorly formed question that leads to a meandering analysis. So, they may say, what insights can you find in our data? It's the most general, generic question you can get. And I am sure if you're a data analyst, you get this request. Also, uh, a lot of times if you're applying for a job and it's uh, maybe entry level or you're a fresh graduate, you'll get a lot of requests that says, hey, what insights can be found in our data? This is a very general question that's going to lead to general analysis. Uh, so let's go down that path. So there's no questions being asked outside of what insights are there. You're going to have to follow the same steps. Source the data, prepare it, and then you're going to have to do exploratory data analysis. You may have to do this on the left side of the flowchart also, but at least you know which direction you're going in. When you get a very vague question like this, the first thing I would do is summary statistics. What's the mean? What's the mode? What's the median? Well, can you rank things? What are our max and min? What are the outliers? And you may have to start with one variable and then over to other variables, which may take time. So you might have sales. You might have conversion. You might have churn. All these things you're going to have to look at. Then if it's time series data, most importantly is to look at this data over time. So you want to trend that out. That would be the initial analysis steps. Then you could take it even further because if this is a request, they don't know what they want. So you got to got to provide the kitchen sink. If you're able to, I would perform some unsupervised learning such as, such as clustering. Uh, you can provide predictions and forecast if you still have that time series data. Once you get all that data together, then you can provide business questions that lead you back to the left side of this flowchart. Then you can provide recommendations. But of course, now that you have these business questions, you might need to go down the path again of sourcing the data, data preparation, and then answering those questions that you've presented to the business that they've accepted as the questions that need to be answered. So once you know what you're doing, I just kind of wanted to go over where most analysts invest their time. 
So identifying the business objectives is so important and that's something you have to do with the, the stakeholders. Don't let them leave the room until you have defined KPIs and critical questions. Then you're going to spend most of your time with data modeling and cleaning, trying to get that data in the shape you need prior to your analysis. So now that you have these identified business objectives, analysis is not all that hard. Or maybe in, it's relatively simple compared to not having the objectives. You're going to explore and answer the questions that are presented. You may have to do a little EDA at that point. Then you get to data visualization is how you present this to the stakeholders. Make sure you stay simple and present this easily and something very uh, simplistic that can be followed. And also make sure you're telling a story. Give your presentation kind of a soul like where did it start? Where did it end up? Where do you see it going? Tailor the data to your audience. If you follow these steps, you can definitely provide a detailed and effective analysis, even if you're presented with bad questions or good questions, general questions, or very exact business objectives that allow you to really perform and use your skills. I hope this helped uh, you with your data analysis questions. If you have anything that you think should be added, please leave something in the comment section. If you like the video and you think this can help a friend, if they're applying for a job, please share it. Or please reach out to me if you have an analysis project. I would love to hear what everybody's working on. And also if I can provide some kind of um, help there, I definitely would. Thank you.